As we know, inflammatory bowel disease is divided into two types. One is uh, ulcerative colitis, second is Crohn's disease. The big difference between the ulcer ulcerative colitis and the Crohn's disease is the involvement of the gut. So, as far as ulcerative colitis is concerned, it involves only colonic mucosa, whereas Crohn's disease can involve any part of the gut from mouth to anus. The other difference which between the ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease is the extent of involvement. When it is Crohn's disease, it involves the entire layers of the gut. So, it is transmural involvement we call and uh, involvement is usually patchy or we call it as skip lesions whereas in ulcerative colitis, it is a continuous involvement. So, based on the extent of the disease, the patient can have different presentations, severity and complications. Many times the uh, people ask us, sir, why I have, I am suffering from ulcerative, why am I suffering from Crohn's disease, what are the reasons? for which the patients acquire this disease. Most commonly, there is a genetic predisposition. So, one of the strongest reason and documented reason is genetic predisposition. Those people who are carrying the uh, abnormal genes, they are at risk of developing inflammatory bowel disease, which is ulcerative or Crohn's disease. The other mechanism which is, predis uh, which is proposed is immune dysregulation to the basically uh, intestinal microflora. So, your own immunity reacts against your uh, intestine or other organs and they create inflammatory response to this uh, antigen and leading to immune dysregulation kind of presentation. So, if I summarize the etiology or the reasons for somebody to acquire inflammatory bowel disease, one, genetic predisposition, second, immune dysregulation to the uh, intestinal microflora, and third, sometimes it is postulated that uh, diet has a role, but it is not the reason. It can be a factor for uh, precipitation or you know, can, you can, it can trigger the recurrence of the disease.